The spirit of Fidel Kabir, freight forwarders under the umbrella of National Association of Government Approved Freight Forwarders, NAGAV, have commended the National Coordinator of 100% Compliance Team of the Association, Ibrahim Tanko, for sailing the ship of the special unit in the right direction. The unit, which was established to ensure compliance to government regulations between freight forwarders and government agencies within the port, has recorded significant progress in the past year. Some compliance team members, while reflecting on the unit's achievement, says this wouldn't have been possible without the visionary leadership of Ibrahim Tanko. We are taking up this assignment to a higher level and we expect to see all compliance members comply and then adhere strictly to whatever the national coordinator has told us to do. I, as the chief of staff, will make sure that every staff falls in line. Well, you know, in the last one year, we have focused on establishing compliance team in bonded terminals, in all the terminals across the nation. We focused on um, advocacy. And right now, our next phase is consolidation. Before now, Tanko is man of the people. They have been doing a thing better than this, but today's salad day old is quite different. We really appreciate our coming here. Of recent, they went to um, CFAS at Okota. I knew what happened there. Calls here and there, begging Alaji Ibrahim Tanko to take his men away from that place. There has been so many illegality going on, you understand, in the industry. But Alaji Ibrahim Tanko, the tallest local tree in Apapa, is out for them to do the right thing, especially terminals. You understand? If you go to so many terminals, you see the terminals are not well, they, are, they are not okay. So many bonded terminals are not even good. You understand? For containers to be taken to those areas. On his part, the National Coordinator of 100% Compliance Team of NAGAV, Ibrahim Tanko, says it won't be business as usual for terminal operators, shipping companies, and freight forwarders who fail to abide by the federal government ease of doing business policy. We are campaigning trying to reach out people to understand the need of this compliance team. Some people are seeing us as people that want to cause confusion. Some people are seeing us as Usu Brewer. Some people are seeing a different kind of name. But now, we want to start operation. You can see we have already uh, picketing almost like two, three bonded terminals two weeks ago. And that is what we are going to start now. We want to finish with the bundle terminal, terminal operators, and then shipping company. Then we now enter custom. After we start, we finish with custom, we enter every government agencies. So for now, this is the now everybody go understand what is uh, compliance is all about. I bet you give us like three months, you will understand what I'm saying.